Hello there subscribers. Tonight is a very special night. It's the first night that I ever have played Wizards and Warriors by DW Bradley. This game seems like it's going to be epic. That word is overused nowadays, but in the case of this, I think it's going to apply. So, what I'm going to do is start in this the intro to the game and I'm going to finish eating my beef jerky and mute my microphone while I do that but I can already hear this epic music playing I'm gonna turn this up a little bit so let's enjoy the intro together while I eat my beef jerky and then the game shall begin dream of black fire the heaving flame rages consuming all that it touches and then from within the darkness a chill as cold as death we are the oracles of ishadna you are the chosen one you are the mortal hope the infernal set udwakan unholy pharaoh of evil the Lord of Darkness has risen from his long slumber. For soon the Shadow's Darkness will blanket this land. A maven sword. A blade forged of twin metals. One cursed by evil. The other blessed by the divine. Blessed by the divine. Blessed by the divine. Peace be with thee. I am Kara, Holy Protector, Guardian of Onifus. Seek you the Maven, the sword forged of twin metals. It is a mortal instrument of the Black Fire. Only the Maven can challenge the coming darkness. Something has happened. Something evil. We must consult with the oracles of Ishad Na to learn more. To unearth what has not been seen in the Gale Saren for many generations. The Maven Sword. Go now, quickly, and return to me with the Fabled Blade. Okay, that was a pretty cool intro. I like that. Voices, voice acting is cool. The music is great. I am excited about this. Hey, Gauntlet, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Are you ready for some Wizards and Warriors? I sure as heck am. Alright. I am playing this blind. Hey, and Sazdam's here. How you doing, Sazdam? Okay, let's see here. Ah, okay. So we're in a town. The village of Valeria. Valeria. So I'm guessing we have to create a party. I'm sure this is where the party members are going to go. So that's the only one I can click on, it looks like. Go to the port of Primlock Room. Go to the town of... Ah, okay. So this is like a quick travel type thing, I think. Hey, Sir Percival. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I have never seen this before either, and it's going to be fantastic. 
This was D.W. Bradley's last RPG that he made. The same man that made Wizardry 6 and 7. And he had complete control over this, so design controls. And I know he did some of the programming too. So this is going to be amazing. Alright, create character. Okay. So human has no adjustments to attributes it looks like. Elves are smart and pretty quick. Dwarves are strong and I'm guessing fortitude's at constitution. <coughs> Gnomes are agile or well, actually there was agility and dexterity. Okay, cool. So they're dexterous with their hands and good presence. Hey! We got lots of people in the stream tonight. This is nice. We got 8-Bit, The Law, and Leandro. Welcome to the stream, guys. Sir Percival loves the art. The Law says, love playing this game. It's great. Well, don't spoil anything for me, please, because I'm playing this blind. And I'm going to play it without any hints, if possible. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Landro says the graphics reminds him of Lord of the Realm 2. And Gauntlet says, oh, he made Wizardry 6 and 7. Didn't know that. Yeah, he's the... He actually made a big portion of 5 also. But he was completely in control of 6 and 7. <clears throat> so he's, he's an incredible designer. Percy says, I only know this game is associated with Wizardry, but beyond that, I don't know anything. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look. So, Pixie, really high agility and spirituality. Umphaz, which looks like an elephant humanoid. Plus three strength, intelligence, spirituality. Wow, really strong and smart. Okay. Whiska. <laughs> Instead of like a Felper or a Tiger, it's a Whiska. I like that. Very agile and spiritual. Gork. So this looks like a like a boar humanoid. Strength and fortitude increase. Then we have rattling, dexterity, agility, and intelligence. Okay, so obviously they'd make really good rogues. Lizard. Just gonna be like a lizard man. Okay, cool. I like this. Alright, so of course we're gonna need at least two fighterish types. That minus two agility is probably not the best. Strength and fortitude. So let's go with one of these guys. Male or female? Hey, Larry P. Welcome to the stream. And I's here too. And Amity, welcome guys. How you guys doing this evening? Yeah, that's what I'm playing it on. I'm playing it on a Windows 10 and a VMware. A virtual machine so that I can show it to you guys and look at the chat at the same time because otherwise it takes up the full screen and I can't see the chat. <laughs> see, as Tim says, make an all lizard party. And I says, Wow, this game, he's always been curious to try it, he even as a copy on CD ROM, but never it never worked on his PC. Gotcha. Well, we're sure as heck gonna play it. I'm playing it blind, so again, please don't give me any tips. Looks like we have four base classes here. I'm pretty sure you can become other classes later, that, like the elite kinds, like you can in Wizardry. I don't know how, but I think you can. So let's make a couple warriors here. Okay. Uh, strength affects your ability to use weapons. How heavy an armor you can wear and how much you can carry. Dexterity affects your ability to use weapons effectively. It is important for things like pickpocketing. Agility affects how fast you can move and attack and how well you can dodge attacks. Fortitude affects your toughness and endurance and how fast you're able to recover from wounds. Okay, presence affects how others perceive you. 
such as afraid, indifferent, or aggressive. Will affects how fast you replenish your magic powers. Okay. Spirituality affects your ability to learn new magic spells, increase your magic powers. Intellect affects your ability to learn new skills and new magic spells. Okay. All right, well, our first guy's just going to be a tough, brutish type. Let's make him really strong. So 18 is the highest we can make that. I have one point remaining. Let's put in dexterity. Skills, okay. Throwing shield, leadership, athletics. Improves ability to run, swim, climb, jump, take falls. That's interesting. <laughs> Gauntlet says, here's a tip. I never heard of this game. <laughs> Amity says, I wasted one year of university with this game in Marlin. Yeah, the music is incredible. I'm loving it. You'll have to let me know the volume levels if it's good or bad. Hey, Ron Reg, welcome. How you doing? I installed this in VMware, so I'm using VMware Workstation 12, and the operating system I installed was Windows 10. Yes, I'm playing this blind. I read like just a few pages in the manual, and then I decided to stop. So I, I don't want to, I, I want to minimize my information on it. Okay, let's see here. Axes, mace, hammer, or flail. How many points do I get? Is that it? You get two skills? Go back. Does it say where the points are? Level 1, 66%. Improved mace. Oh, I see what it, that did. It requires more points as you add more to it. I see that now. Okay. He probably doesn't start with a mace. So let's give him one in mace, one in sword. And one an axe. And that way at least he can use some of them. Enter character name. Boris. Okay, create another character. His dexterity's low. Yes, I have the late I get I bought this on GOG, so it has all the latest bug fixes <laughs> Hammond he says pure terror and some dizziness due to well the CRT yet at the time you have a party of six Percy that's what all these slots are over here now I don't know if you if there's NPCs in the game or not so I don't know if you could you know take four characters oh I do know I did read in the manual that they're in this inn you can create the characters. You could go out and journey and come back and swap out the characters. So it's not like wizardry where you're stuck with party members. So it's more like Bard's Tale where you can go back to the Adventure Guild and, and work with different characters. So I, I like that. That's really cool. Okay, let's see here. We need another fighter type. I kind of want to make a really high damage one. So I'm going to pick this Whiska. Let's do a female. Let's do a warrior. And, and again, I don't know if this is going to work out or not. This is just experimenting, but we'll try one that has a little higher dexterity. 
Let's do one in pole arms, one in sword, one in bow. Let's call her Shira. <laughs> hey, Rod, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Random point bonus at character creation always bugs you, Ron says. <laughs> I don't think it's random. I think it seemed like it was a set a set amount, wasn't it? Let me take a look again. Yeah, it's a set amount, I'm pretty sure. Seven points. Let's go back. Seven. Yeah, I think you always get a certain amount of points to assign. Yep. Okay, we don't want another whisker. All right, now we want... Let's see, there was a wizard, I think there was a priest, and then there was rogue. So let's go ahead and create a rogue. I'm going to do a rat thing. Yeah, it's Boris. <laughs> oh, hey, Andrew. Welcome to stream. How you doing? Andrew from Retro Island Gaming. Oh, you're heading to work? Gotcha. Thanks. Yeah, I'm super excited to play this. And hey, Mac, welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? Let's see here. Three, how many points? Three points remaining. Hmm. Pickpocket, traps and locks. I'm sure I need more of that. Nine hit points. Okay, uh... Let's give him throwing. Oh, I can't. That's all he got? Hold on. He only gets one skill, one skill point. Okay. Ah. Well, I guess we'll have him do throwing. We'll see how that works out. Uh, what's a rat type name? Wiggles. <laughs> Larry P said, I had a rat called Reinhardt. <laughs> Please use that name. Sorry, Larry. <laughs> They called him Wiggles. We gotta have some guy in the party that's just real goofy. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't be a DW Bradley game without crazy animal races. <laughs> that's true. It is a zoo out there. Okay, let's see here. Let's do a priest next. This guy has high spirituality. So we're going to use him. Uh, I guess we'll do male. Priest. To learn new magic and increase your magic powers. Just do that. Ooh, okay. Spirit, vine. So it looks like we can choose between spirit and vine. What do we got? Uh, bless, heal, and well, we need to heal for sure. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's all we get is one. Okay. Cool. Oh, I can get another. Okay. Let's look at Vine. Slow repel. What does that do? Doesn't tell me. Stink bomb? That should be good. At least I'll have an attack spell then. Cool. Hey, Christopher, welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> Everybody's giving names for the Radkins, I guess. Scamp and Splinter. <laughs> Rod says, you know Wiggles will carry the party to victory just because of the name. Hey, and Chub Zoomer's here. How you doing? What's my absolute favorite CRPG of all time? Well, this may end up being it, but right now, I don't know because I haven't played this yet. Out of all the ones I've ever played, Wizardry 8 is my favorite. Yeah, I'm the same way, Christopher. I've had this for a few months now, and I'm like, I gotta play this. I know it's gonna be good. It's D.W. Bradley. He made it. <laughs> You're installing this as we speak. Damn he says. Yeah, the music is cool. <laughs> hey, no no tips, Amony. That's the one thing I'm going to request is please, guys, if you know this game, don't give me any tips because I'm trying to play it blind. Oh, gosh, Percy. I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. So, no, <laughs> I can't use a name like that. Okay, let's see. Character name for an elephant. Um... How about Tor? Hey, Pit says, is Heroes of Mind Magic 3 your fav second favorite RPG? Um, that's, I would consider that more of a strategy game, not an RPG. So out of strategy games, yes, Heroes of Mind Magic 3 is definitely in my top three of all time. Larry for the elephant. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Michael, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Bishop Babar for elephant priest. Dumbo says, Tim says, and then Larry says, or Curly. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Two more. So we need a wizard, obviously. And looks like pixies are real fast and spiritual. It's probably going to be an elf. Because they have good intelligence and agility, so I'll be able to dodge, maybe. Let's make it female. Ooh, wow. There's actually multiple pictures here. Interesting. This one reminds me of uh, the main evil woman on uh, Game of Thrones. Cersei. <laughs> Hmm, I think I like this one. Let's do wizard. How many hit points does she have? Doesn't say. Oh, well, you can dodge attacks. I feel like that's going to be important. I don't want this too low either, though. Nine hit points. Okay, cool. It's not like in D&D &D where you could have a one hit point magic user. All animan party. <laughs> no, we got a couple females in the party. You're playing under rail at the moment. You liked it quite a bit, Hanman, he says. Yes, yeah, Cersei. Okay, let's see. So what spells we have? Sun and Stone. Stone is Shock and Armor Plate. Okay, that's probably going to be good. We got Burn. I don't know if that's damage or... It must be, because here's Torchlight. 
which is a light type spell. All right, let's start with armor plate. And burn. It's got to be a damage spell. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Character name. Elena. Okay, we have one more. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, Soundboy Eric, welcome to the stream. How you doing this evening? Yeah, this game has awesome music, I agree. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that, Christopher. Oh, sheesh. But you get the time off, that's good. Percy said, do you want an elvish sounding name? Not really, because I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it. <laughs> I know, I know you could, but I probably couldn't. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I feel like I'm trying to think of a elite classes later, maybe. I feel like I should probably, since I'm a beginner have another fighter type of some kind. Agility and strength, but not good with dexterity. He's bad with agility. Let's do human. Let's make a... Uh, I'm envisioning this guy becoming kind of like a ranger later. Oh wow, lots of portraits for these. Hmm. Let's go to default. So I think I'm going to make him a warrior. Learn new skills and new magic spells. Try to make them balanced. All right, let's do. Run, swim, climb, jump. I probably need at least one person that can do that. Leadership, ability to raise morale and intimidate enemies. We'll see. All right, we're going to call him uh, Flynn. Okay. Let's see it. The other warrior. Boom, boom. Nice. Cool gold, revert game, 200 gold, 1200, okay. So each character got 200. How do we get out of here? Exit. Something has happened. Something evil. The shadows speak to me. They cry out in my dreams. I have seen visions of unspeakable horror in the night. I fear the prophecy of the age has come to pass. We must consult with the oracles of Ishadna to learn more. But Ishadna is far away and a most dangerous journey. 
We will need a special magic to protect us. You must go this night upon a secret task for me, to unearth what has not been seen in the Gale Saren for many generations. The Maven Sword. I had a very strange dream earlier this day. I was walking through a graveyard in the night when I heard a voice calling my name. Gareth, Gareth, it cried. I followed the voice until I saw it. A black crow sat perched atop a tombstone. As it flew away, I saw a name upon the tombstone, Nivius. Suddenly, up from beneath the grave, there arose the great taloned fist of an ancient dragon, and clutched within its grip was the Maven Sword, stretching up to pierce the darkened sky. The dream is an omen. You must follow the old cemetery road up to the graveyard ruins of Fiersalt. Search for the tomb of Nivius. I believe there you will find the legendary Maven Sword. Go now, quickly, and return to me with the fabled blade. I will return to my home and wait to hear from you and pray. Okay, cool. Oh, and hey, Michael, looks like you're in the stream as well. Good to see you. How you doing? Everybody threw out names like Karnov Vaz. <laughs> yeah, Karnov. Buff strong jaw. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, cool. So this, this is interesting. Is he leading the party? Oh, it's whoever you have selected. Okay. So if you right click, you can see their inventory. So I'm guessing I have no gear. What do we got? Inventory, spell book, stats, skills journal oh that's nice quests nice Oh, it's this, okay. So you can review the whole uh, quest here. Characters. We got auto map. Nice, there's an auto map. Uh oh. Uh oh! It crashed on me, guys. <laughs> Don't drag on the auto map. Ah, oh, I hope my characters are here. Whew, okay. Yeah, don't drag on the auto map. I crashed it. Uh, let's see, Tor, Wiggles, Helena. It still remembered that I already spoke with the guy, so that's good news. Okay, let's go back in here. Make sure it shows in the quest. Yep, it shows it. Okay. Okay, what do we got? So that's the gold. Let's pull it all. All right. Tavern. The magic shop. Looking for like an armory. Here we go. Armory. Hail, I'm Smitty. Glad to meet you. What can I do for you? Hey, it's Smitty from Wizardry 6. <laughs> hey, Max. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I don't think so. The Wizards and Warriors, like the NES type games, are totally different. 
This is a game made by uh, D.W. Bradley, that who made wizardry, a couple of the wizardries. <laughs> yeah, finding bugs <laughs> decades later. That's funny. Ah, oh, gotcha, Amini. Yeah, this guy doesn't get voice acting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. He, that's what he came up with. Okay, bye. Dagger, longsword, short sword, bastard sword, war axe, pike, mace. Ooh, you can get a mace right off the bat. Nice. Damage 2 to 6. Minimum strength 12. Ah, now I'm seeing where this min strength thing is coming about. Hit minus 1 on the pike. Let's check these out. War Axe 2 to 6, Strength 11. Bastard Sword 4 to 9, minus 1 to hit. Strength 13. Short Sword 2 to 5. Long Sword 3 to 6. Not much minimum strength there, but it's pretty expensive. Throwing Axe. Two quantity for 70. Wow. Knife, three quantity. Wow, three knives weighs 15 pounds. Short bow's 200. Okay, let's buy him a mace. It's 115? Wow. I think the longsword weighed less in the end. It cost less. Let's buy that. Nice. That is a nice design. <laughs> Max is, I think Smitty beats Garth in arm wrestling. <laughs> I don't know why they have the same name, Max. I guess it's because it's just generic, Wizards and Warriors. Hey Manny, welcome, how you doing this evening? Yeah, <laughs> Wizards and Warriors and Rogues and Animals. Okay, what else we got? This is interesting because he, he only has like limited quantity of each item type. You see that? The, the longsword disappeared. That's pretty cool. Skills. What did I give her for skills? Sword, pole staff. All right, so let's let's give her the pike. Shira, where are you? Pike. Oh, it's just pool. You just got a real bargain. That time, there was still another pike. Let's see, I think I gave him sword. Yeah. Wow, he has 17 hit points. Okay. Five hundred for that. Wow. Let's we'll start with a short sword. Does that makes you wonder if you could equip multiples? Hmm. Swords and <laughs> That's a good one, Larry. Swords and sandals. That'd be a great, great uh, <laughs> name for a game. <laughs> 
No, Manny, that's no relation to the NES game. Yeah, it's called Whiska. That's pretty funny. Okay, uh, we have Wiggles. I don't think he has any weapon skills, does he? Sorcery, Spiritcraft, and Vinecraft. Okay. Use a mace. Is there a staff, maybe? How about a crossbow? Can't use any ranged. Let's just get a mace. Next, Elena, or Wiggles. Wiggles. I gave throwing. Lock picks. Does he have any lock picks? No, okay. I better get him some of those. Get him a torch too. I'll buy two torches, they're only ten each. Pretty cool looking shields. Armor. Wow, that's expensive. Armor class rating. Does it say it says four point eight? One point eight. Point six, that's interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, knife. Seventy five for three. I'm hoping that I can pick them up after I throw them. Let's get six. Oh, that was the torch. Assuming that means that he'll just automatically throw those? So I probably should get him a hand to hand weapon too. Let's just get him a regular dagger. Those are some heavy daggers. <laughs> Okay, and then Elena. Can she use any of this? Probably just a dagger. All right, and I have 415 gold left. Yikes. A short bow is 200. How much are arrows? 40. Trousers, 0.3, 0 0.4. Suede boots, a robe is 0.8. Yeah, we're gonna have to earn some money. So let's get her a robe. Wow, it updates the graphic on the left there. Pretty darn sweet. I spend all my money. Ok, 
case I need it for something. Okay, we'll just start with this. What is this? No, character review. Warrior's Guild, repair, identify, character review, sell. What is this Warrior's Guild? Wiggles is not allowed in the Warrior Guild. Five hundred gold. <laughs> Five hundred gold. Okay. So we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. All right. What is that? Town hall. And then a temple. I'm going to be of service. Town news. Last time I saw Gareth, he seemed very upset, but he wouldn't tell me why. It seemed very odd, and now I am concerned about him. Yeah, I guess the p party begins not necessarily naked, but they... It looks like they don't have much armor. Like, it basically, they were shirtless and just wearing underwear. <laughs> I <laughs> should have made a rat word named Splendor. Says them says. <laughs> okay. Bank. Withdraw and deposit gold. Employment. Yes, I have two jobs available. First, there's a bounty you can collect. Also, I need someone to deliver a package for me. Which job are you interested in? Package. Uh, two? What do I do? Oh, it's over here. Bounty delivery. Lord Baranok is the governor over the town of Isinwama. I need you to deliver a package to him. Take this package to Isadma, and Lord Baranok will pay you 250 gold pieces. Do you want the job? Yes. Good luck. The path to Isambar is fought, fraught with many dangers. Oh, yay. Okay, temple on distance for healing. Yeah, perform healing and resurrection. Boris has one item that can be blessed. You must increase bless skill. That's interesting. Huh. Make a donation, uncurse. Priest skilled. Is it 500 here too? 500, yep. Yeah. Okay, and then there was uh, one other place I want to check out before I leave. It was Magic Guild. Oh, and there's the tavern. Let's go in there, too. Drink ale, rumors, and chat. I might know a little something if you're willing to pay. You want me to tell you what I know for 50 gold? Yes. Hey, who are you trying to kid? You ain't got enough money. Oops. A couple of travelers were just in here talking about being robbed. Seems the gypsies over at Nymph Lake are their usual tricks. Better watch out if you're traveling around there. Don't let them get near you or you'll be missing something in no time. I heard they keep their stash hidden beneath the old abandoned boathouse. But no one knows how to get at it. Okay, that's interesting.
Hey David, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Hello to you as well. Wizards and Warriors. Uh, I just finished character creation. Oh, probably about a half hour it took me. But I'm playing this blind. I've never played this game before. So, please no hints. If you've played it and you know about it, I want to try to stumble through it like a noob. <laughs> yeah, gypsies. It's always the gypsies, right? Okay, let's see. Bye. Oh, he has magic items. Feather darts? Sleep darts. Oh, that's cool. Scroll of burning. Scroll of sleep. Scroll of blessing. Oh, wow. Scroll of crying. Sloth. Fear. Armor. Weakening. I like this. Those one things in wizardry that was always hard to find were scrolls and like wizardry six and seven, you know. Flame strike. Dispel and dead. And he's got potions, cool. Bloodlust, cure poison. I have a feeling I should buy one of these right now. I bought one. Restore health. Great heal. Heal. Heroic Might. Toughen. Mana. Sapping Powder. Fairy Dust. Steak Powder. Okay. Cool. So I'm sure there's a Mage Guild. Oh, what's this enchant? You must increase enchant skill. So maybe that increases the power of your item. Cool. Alright, now, how do I save the game? Is there a way to save, or does it just happen? Oh, we're down here. Load game. Basic setting. What's that say? Something frequency. Oh, spawn frequency. Movement. Arrows. Oh, movement arrows. That may help me. Not sure what that really means, but we'll see. Look, move, cursor on. Safeguard mode. Safe, protected, guarded, deathmatch. Monster difficulty is normal. Game speed, real time versus slow time. Oh, that's cool. Let's put it in the middle right now. Well, no, let's play real time. We'll, we'll just see what how quickly I die. Just to save the game? It says load a saved game. Restore. Maybe you, you save going. Going outside or something. Let me go back to the end. Maybe that's where you save it. Revert. No, we don't want to do that. Okay. This is where not reading the manual comes back to bite you. We're fighting something already? Ooh. I guess we just killed whatever that was. Oh, 
Oh, it's I see what it's doing. It's swapping whose turn it is. Out of range. to go backwards. That walks to the right, left. Oh, that's how you do it, okay. Maybe right mouse? Whoa. I think the right mouse button. It does allow me to look down, but it also made me run. What is that? Knife. Oh, that's the knife I threw, I think. Quantity five, so I'm missing one. Did it go flying somewhere? Oh, you left click and drag, okay. And then I can use the arrow keys to move around like this. Okay, cool. It takes some getting used to. Uh oh, something's down there. Is that a butterfly? That's a butterfly. That did escalate quickly, Manny. How is the combat in this game so far? It's the first, that was the first battle, 8-bit, and I really didn't know what I was doing. It seemed okay. Um, it was quick. Because I have it on real time, I guess. But. Okay, so I can use the left and right arrows to look around, and I can use page up, page down to look. Okay, that's a lot easier. I'm using the arrows on the number pad right now. It seems to be working pretty well. It says, I sense a warger nearby. Is that the town I just came from? It is. So let me see if there's a way to save. Save game, there we go. Nice. So far so good, guys. Wow, can we go down in here? Ha! Huh. The woods is thick. Uh-oh. These good guys or bad guys? Troll Goonie. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Alright, cast something. How do I cast? Whoa. I gotta get within range. Wiggles. Good job, Wiggles. She ra. Boris. Okay, Helena needs to be healed. 
So it blocks out the on the right side like white when it's not their turn and they're not available. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I know it's on him. Magic. Cast heal. Control. Target. Did I do it? Yeah, I did. Okay. And then she's going to cast. I don't know if I did that right or not. Oh, he's running. Where are you going? Shira. I think I accidentally hit a key. He was, she was like stuck trying to do something. Uh oh. Heal. Run, Charlie, Charlie. Control to target. Nice. Magic. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Do I have any more healing? To a uh, stink bomb. Tries to fight but gags. So it worked. Sorry guys, I'll look at the chat in a minute. I know you guys are probably saying all kinds of things. But since this is real time, I need to try to kill these. Yeah, you can set it to be not real time. But I wanted to try it first. Wow. Sword. Shield. <laughs> nice. Look at this. It leaves the gear behind. Whoa. Oh, it disappears though if you don't grab it in time. I wonder if there's a way to take him. Oh, it says taken. Oh, okay, I'm just taking it real quick. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Still out here? Hell is still out here. It is still out here. Nice. Once I pick all this stuff up, then I'll build up. I just don't know if there's a time limit. What is that? Ocean. Can I walk over it? Oh, you can walk over it. Nice. I can just walk over it and pick it up. Can't carry anymore. Oh, okay. There we go. 
bows. That was a lot of bows. Glad I didn't spend all that money on it. So am I still in combat mode? Why does it say fight pike? View map. Steel talk. Oh, maybe it was always that way and I just didn't know it. Okay, let me go in town. I can actually check the stream here. Wow, that was pretty intense with it being uh, real time. Yeah, I can turn the, the speed to slow for combat, which I'll probably end up doing because that was hard. That was really hard. I think that was in here. Game options. Yeah, game speed. We'll set it on slow. How much gold do we have? 64? 263. Okay. Was that an in-game clock, Larry said? I'm not sure. Was there? I didn't see it, if so. Yeah, it looked like the auto pickup was working on everything until my my guy was overloaded. He couldn't carry anymore, it said. So now I've got all these bows. Twenty-nine arrows. Nice. Got some shields. Oh, look at that. So the shield goes in the same position as the ranged weapon. Interesting. Four question mark potions. <clears throat> Okay, cool. So, since he can't use a bow, I figured I'd give him... Let me get him some arrows. Oh, here's that other sword I picked up. It's a question mark, so we don't know what kind of sword it is. Repair damage, 8%. So I guess it's lost 8% of its max damage because it needs to be repaired. That's pretty cool too. Okay, he still has these throwing knives. Okay. Let me sell some of this extra stuff. I got two extra bows and a knife. First, let's identify. Primitive bow. Minimum strength 8 to hit minus 1. Repair damage 34%. So, short sword. Identify cost was 18. Okay. Yeah, very fascinating era of games. Percy said he heard a bell toll. That's cool. 
<laughs> Never ending story, huh? That movie. Besides Morrowind and Vampire and Masquerade, you haven't really delved in the era of PC games. Yeah, so. Okay. So let's sell. So he'll buy that for 34. I guess that's the only thing he, he wants to buy. Oh, so he doesn't, he won't even buy the, cost one dollar to repair the one percent damage on the short sword. Okay, cool. I like that, that's pretty cool. So it's based on how much actual damage, like percentage wise, affects the cost. So now I need to buy some more arrows. Let's see, 40 for 20. Get him some arrows too. And that's it. I didn't, I still don't have any gold. <laughs> oh, graveyard, the graveyard ruins are this way. Okay, I see. Is that the same way I already was going? Hmm. Looks a little different. This is a pretty darn cool game engine for the year 2000. Oh wow, I just jumped. If you push the insert key, you jump. Wow. Oh, it says the old cemetery, okay. village of Valeya, just down this road. I see you have just come from there. I was wondering if you could tell me, is Gareth, the village elder, still living there? Hmm. He's, this has got to be a bad guy. I'm tempted to either say buzz off or no. Mm. <laughs> Sarah Percy says totally not an assassin. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna say no. I see. I hope you are not deceiving me. I do so dislike children who are not trustworthy. Where do you think you're going? Haha. <laughs> He's trying to go around. Okay. Let's attack him. I 
can. Oh, he went in the city. Let's go find him. Uh, that's not the right place. Yeah, it's the same tip as before. He wasn't in here. I'll just assume that he's going to be okay. Go back to the cemetery. Max says, do you plan on playing Baldur's Gate in the future? Um, yeah, maybe some at some point. I've got so many games on my list, though. Um, just don't know. Ooh, more trolls. Can I shoot them? Oh, yeah, you can shoot him with arrows, look. Forgot that I don't need to make it real time anymore. Uh, who's this? Flynn. Out of range. Four damage. Run, Charlie, Charlie! Swings dagger. So somehow I gotta s flip it to use the ranged weapon. Let's see. Oh, she didn't. Oh, she didn't equip the arrows. That's why. I bought them, but didn't equip them. Experience Flynn. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Larry says, Will this game be the next review? No, because this is going to take an extreme amount of time to review this game. Maybe by maybe next year at some point this game will the review will come out. But no, it's gonna be much simpler reviews for next couple. <laughs> I will review this at some point, but I gotta play through it and and it's gonna take a long time. Apit says Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 are his favorite CRPGs hands down. Manny says, yeah, I thought that curse that lowers enemy resistances would make poison over useful. It stripped immunity, but not by much. Couldn't even kill normal Lester. 
Max says, did I hear you say you need more games? <laughs> Let me know. Just kidding. No, I've got so many games, Mac. I really appreciate the ones you got me. You've, you've bought me, gosh, probably 10 to 15 in the past few months. And I will play them at some point, but it's just not enough time. Percy says this game has Blue Jays, it seems. Oh, wow. Good observation. Okay, see you later, Max. Have a good evening. Christopher says the resist curse. Oh, he's talking about the other games. Okay. Oh, thanks, Mac. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys enjoy the stream. Yeah, this the slow instead of real time is a lot more enjoyable for me to play now. It doesn't feel as stressful. Healed six points. I like how it remembers the last option you had selected, like casting a spell or whatever. Yeah, this is pretty darn impressive. Working on my bow skills. These voices are awesome. She had a magic yeah. point. Uh, yeah, she's on a magic points. Okay. So how does she skip? You just click again. Okay. Hey, says, do you think you'll reload every time a party member dies? No, I'm going to try not to do that. I'll try to go back to the temple and resurrect if I can. Okay. I don't know if this has training. Like as you use skills, if they go up like they do in Wizardry, I'm assuming that it does. So it's probably good for me to practice all of these. Yeah. Oh, he's running. There we go. Huh. Arrow taken, bag taken. Man, this is cool. Whoa! Uh-oh. What is that? A woger. Here we go. So I wonder if it remembers. Who shot which arrow? How that works. Oh, it's probably who, who I have selected. It's not taking the bow. So yeah, it looks like he doesn't pick up certain items. So maybe it only picks up projectiles and money and bags and stuff if you walk over.
Okay. Cemetery, okay. Yeah, so whoever you have selected when you're walking around is who gets the items. Uh oh, I'm getting attacked by something. Oh, it shows it up here in the, the screen. Wow, that's pretty cool. So it still is kind of real time, it's just slower real time. Looks like I lost three of my daggers. Out of three. Yeah, Mac, I'm really loving this game too. It's a uh, very challenging but intuitive at the same time definitely an a a plus first impression i haven't even you know <laughs> got past the area in the the main village yet hey i could see spending a ridiculous number of hours on this game Primitive bow, willow arrows, shield. Heal potions, okay, cool. Oh, he will buy the primitive bows. Nice. I just, that, so the way it works is you have to click on the character you want and then it'll show the items that you can sell. So he'll even buy items that aren't identified. That's pretty sweet. So it costs eight, 10 to identify, and if it's a primitive bow, then I'd actually end up losing money. So I'm just going to sell it. Sell it for eight. Uh, 
Yeah, it's very immersive so far. <laughs> you, had, you had to quit one you were playing for like two years because you couldn't keep up Manny's heads. Yeah, the music is awesome. Christopher says he can't play anything competitive anymore. His arthritis is too strong. I had to quit playing League of Legends. Uh, Manny says he started up Conan Exiles again because they sold a new map that's supposed to be super hard. Christopher's going to stick with Ultima Online and EverQuest. Slow paced his best these days. And 8 bit plays League of Legends. Get addicted to that. <laughs> you hate the game, but you keep playing it. That's pretty funny. I want to see how close I am getting to the next level. Experience needs 698. Wow. So, yeah, it does take a while. Mac asks if they have a bard class in this. So my understanding is there's four base classes you can start as. And then, yes, I think there's an elite bard class later. But there's guilds and things in this game. From what I read in the manual briefly, um, you have to join the guilds. And then based on, I don't know, based on your title or something, you can start picking paths to go down. And I, I think bard is one of them. There's like barbarian, rangers, uh, ninjas, samurais, monks. So I think a lot of the classes that were in the, in like Wizardry 6 and on are going to be in here. Okay. Let's get out of here again. Let's save it. It's pretty cool too. It really, the bumpiness makes it feel like you're really walking on those. What is that? Uh oh. So, spell points. Let's come back. Yeah. I only have two. Okay. So maybe you have to go back into the inn. So Manny, you like the barbarian type classes? Yeah, I like um, I like city and yeah. town building things too. Um, not as much civilization as like the Anno series. I can I can recommend like Anno seventeen oh one fourteen oh four and. 1800, those are a lot of fun. I think I'm going to move forward and hit this guy. Oh, look at him. The arrows are sticking out of him. Wow. Huh. 
that's crazy. Ah, okay. There's the knives. I feel like only the person, yeah, only the person that has those types of items will pick them up. That's cool. What is that music? <laughs> Try to shoot, <laughs> shoot him in the nuts. Oh, that's funny. We are going down a steep hill. Why'd you say uh oh says thing? Two ninety eight, we're getting a little bit of gold. Oh, you thought the the music changed meant a battle was coming, gotcha. Yeah, that it sure seems like it, doesn't it? I wanna see if my spell points came back yet. Twenty out of twenty. So it makes me think just going into town. Hear that or they replenish pretty quickly. Just wandering around. Yeah, I don't know. That was the first time I heard the music change like that, too. What is that? Oh, I have it on... On fight. I see. Steel, talk, use... View map. Dragon pyre. Oh! If you have a dragon or something in your party, you can do that. Carry object. Hmm. Uh oh. A lot of trolls. Wiggles is pretty good throwing those knives. 
Okay, so now I'm going to do a test. I have she selected. She did not pick up the knives. Club. Potion. She picked up the arrow. So now, Wiggles. Yeah, he picked up the knives. So I wonder if they pick up their own that they threw or if it's the same type. Regardless, it, it works pretty darn well. Oh, hey, Eric, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Stay on the path here. The old cemetery, we're still hidden there. Oh, I wanted to check out the auto map too without clicking on it. Okay, cool. Wow, a skeleton just came out of the ground. Cool. So search. I don't see a search option, so I'm assuming they just automatically do it. Oh! Got a sword and a shield too. Yeah, this game came out in the year 2000, so it was before Wizardry 8. They don't roar like in Dagger Falls, yeah. The game's too spooky for you. Let's get closer. Glad you're doing great, Eric. Yeah, I am too. Skeleton needs a scimitar, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh oh.
more arrows that I shot. Oh, and there's one of the knives I threw. Okay, Wiggles, pick it up. What is that? Tombstone? Skeleton blocks, that's interesting. Another skull. All right, let's see. We have to be getting close to leveling up now. Gosh, it's not even halfway. The rendering distance. Whoa. Oh, he's stuck. Look at him, he's stuck behind the tombstone. Another sword. These are giving pretty good experience. Here's an axe. I like how they have unique weapons and stuff. <laughs> yeah, bury the hatchet. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a tombstone from the side. Oh, here we go. What? Oh, we got frightened. Bone Lord. Now it's playing some music. Ooh. Just breathed on us or something. Not affected by the fire. Looks like he's almost dead. I see like a yellow little energy bar left side. If I can hit him. There we go. Cap and staff. Oh, 
Wow. Okay, do you have a healing potion? Control the target. There we go. Nice. Kill the Bone Lord to kill him, Christopher says. I don't know. Um, I just kept hitting him with my weapons and casting a fire spell at him, and then he died. Burn out of spell points. Armor plate. Healing potion. We want to go back to fight. There we go. Nice. Yes. Wow. Oh, there's one left. <laughs> Amity says, I wonder if he had dandruff. He used to run a lot to in this game to get out of bad situations. Thinks it's the shift. Wow, okay. Is that arrow? Shield. I feel like a scavenger wanting to pick up all this stuff. knife okay uh so you use potion nice let me save it Yeah, healing damage is undead in some games. Because they have like negative hit points, yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I've seen that a few times too. The ancient crypt is sealed by a massive iron door, tightly seamed down the middle. Close inspection reveals the door has been opened recently. But there is no appearance of a lock or other mechanism for opening the iron barrier. There we go, we figured it out. Boy, I don't know if A this faint is... odor wafts up from the depths of the crypt below. The musty smell of the long departed descending into the darkness. You wonder what horrors might await. Yeah, this is probably a bad idea. Well, guys, it's getting close to being the two-hour mark, too, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, stop for now and talk about this a little bit. Let's see. Exit the game. Okay, let's see here.
So yeah, I was very impressed with this. It's all that I expected from D.W. Bradley. So it's my first impression on it. It's, uh, I feel like in some ways it is better designed than Wizardry 8, which, you know, that's my favorite RPG of all time. So there's some things that seem a little more tedious, but then there's other things that just seems, just seems better designed. So we'll see as time goes on, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it. Music's great. The effects are great. The voices, all the, uh, characters like working together and the races and how you have to join guilds to get to those elite classes. That's going to be interesting. I like the inventory system and how they did that. Um, the real times aspect that you can control. That's really cool. So that, you know, you, it's still phase based like wizardry eight. But the difference is you're not selecting all the actions ahead of time and then watching them play out. It actually is more turn-based where it blocks out and shows you the current character performing their action. But then other things can seem to influence the turn order. So it's kind of a quasi between phase-based and turn-based and it's real time so that was that was very intriguing i'll have to get a better feel for it the more i play it but anthony says or amini says it's five pounds on gog right now another six bucks i guess <laughs> yeah i would definitely get it if it looked interesting to you i think it i think it's fantastic so far Definitely D.W. Bradley design, you can tell. And the story is going to be awesome because he is so good at story. Christopher says it reminds him of Mind Magic 6, 7, and 8. Except you have six characters. I think you only have four in those. And Manny says it reminds him of Final Fantasy 10. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's real real time, but turn based at the same time. Yep, very cool. I like it. And Amini, who's played this game, says he can confirm the story is awesome. That's cool. Yeah, he's such a great story writer. Yeah, Christopher said only four plus NPC pickups that act like passive buffs in Might Magic. Six plus. <laughs> Manny. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for the chat. I hope you enjoyed it. That was awesome. I'm uh, looking forward to continuing that. I'll probably try to play a little bit offline, but probably not a whole lot because I want to build a stream as much of that as possible. So I'll get back to Wasteland Remastered and Bard's Tale Remastered. And then uh, Mac actually got me a game that I want to... Well, he's bought me all kinds of games, but I want to try to work in some of his too. And then I got arcade games that I've been playing on MAME. Just got way too much on my list. I've got Secret of Silver Blades going, Fantasy 3, which I haven't played in quite a while, uh, Star Command, Buck Rogers. So as you can see, I've got way too many things going on. <laughs> But hopefully you guys enjoy them all anyway. So uh, thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you next.